Born into a farming family, Escobar showed his business skills when he was young. He began his criminal career in the late 1960s in smuggling. And in the early 1980s he was involved in the production and marketing of marijuana and cocaine abroad. Escobar founded the Medellin cartel after forming alliances with Gonzalo Rodriguez Gacha, Carlos Leder, and Jorge Luis Ochoa. At the height of its power, the organization had a monopoly on cocaine activity from production to consumption, controlling more than 80% of global drug production and 75% of the market drug in the United States. Within 10 years, he managed to consolidate his criminal empire, making him the most powerful man in the Colombian Mafia. His fortune is estimated between 25 and 30 billion US dollars, equivalent to almost 54 billion dollars in 2016, making him the richest man in the world for seven consecutive years according to Forbes magazine. At the beginning of the 80s, Escobar tried to polish his image by performing charitable works and also penetrated into politics. In 1982, he took a seat in the Colombian House of Representatives, which was part of the alternative liberal movement. And through it he was responsible for building homes and football stadiums in western Colombia. Thus, he gained great popularity among the residents of the cities he frequented. In 1983, he lost his seat at the direct direction of Minister of Justice Rodrigo Lara, after El Espectador published several publications on his illegal actions. Several months later, Rodrigo, and the principal of El Espectador, Guillermo Cano, were murdered, essentially, on the orders of Pablo Escobar. In 1985, the drug trade and cartels flourished in Colombia sparked a war against the government, and caused concern to then-president of the Colombian government, Belisario Betancourt, who said he was ready to fight them and extradite the drug traffickers to the United States. After two attempts at negotiation, kidnappings and selective assassinations of judges and public servants, in 1989 the Medellin cartel, led by Escobar, declared total war against the state. He organized and financed a wide network of loyal killers who killed key figures of national institutions and committed indiscriminate terrorist acts using car bombs in the main cities of the country, which led to its destabilization and brought the authorities to their knees. In the early 1990s, he became the most wanted criminal. He was responsible for the assassination of 657 police officers between 1989 and 1993, and he also had fierce confrontations against the Cali cartel, the paramilitary forces in Magdalena Medio, and finally, Los Pepes. After the National Constituent Assembly was established in 1991, which gave Colombia a new constitution that prohibited the extradition of citizens to the United States. Escobar decided to bring himself to justice on the condition that he be confined to the luxurious, La Catedral, prison. After it was proven that he was still committing crimes while behind bars, the government decided to transfer him to a traditional prison, after which Escobar planned to escape, and took advantage of the back of the prison that was unattended. And it was one of the most shameful cases of the prison authority in the country. After his escape, the government formed a so-called search block to arrest him. And after 17 months of intense pursuit, they came close to arresting him but he tried to escape through the rooftops in Medellin, and he was shot and killed, one day after his 44th birthday.